What's inside a black hole? A whole new space-time can open up. Wormholes, alternate universes, time warps. We've all heard crazy theories about what happens inside a black hole. So, what's the real story? There are still many questions to answer, but scientists have just unlocked the secrets of black holes, revealing powerful forces that have long been a mystery. With this new insight, they're closer than ever to solving the biggest questions of our universe. Join us on this quest to uncover the truth about black holes and their potential effects on humanity's future. But before we go jumping into a black hole, we have to understand them first. What are black holes? A black hole is an extremely dense object whose gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. And do you know why the light can't escape? It's since every object in space has an escape velocity, the minimum speed at which something must move to escape the object's gravitational field. On Earth, the escape velocity is about 7 miles per second, meaning that anything leaving our planet must travel faster than this to break free of Earth's gravitational pull. But Earth's escape velocity pales in comparison to that of a typical black hole. A black hole's gravitational field is so strong that its escape velocity is greater than the speed of light, and this is why even light can't escape, making them invincible, hence the term black hole. You're now familiar with the concept of black holes, but have you ever wondered how they come to be? One star's end is a black hole's beginning. As giant stars, at least 10 times more massive than our sun, exhaust all their fuel, they undergo a dramatic transformation. As they shrink and shrink, they eventually collapse into a single tiny point of darkness known as a stellar mass black hole. In spite of its small size, this black hole retains all the mass and gravity of its former star. In our Milky Way galaxy alone, astronomers believe there could be 100 million of these stellar black holes, with new ones forming every second. But don't worry, our own sun is not massive enough to become a black hole. When it runs out of fuel in about 5 billion years, it will simply fade away as a white dwarf. Black holes come in many sizes, but the true heavyweights of the cosmos are the supermassive black holes. Imagine a single object packing the mass of a million or even a billion stars. These cosmic powerhouses are not just impressive in size, but their gravity is so strong it keeps entire galaxies together. That's right, our very own Milky Way galaxy is held in place by a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A. Discovered almost 50 years ago, the question is, how are black holes discovered if they don't emit light? Scientists have now figured out three ways to locate these hidden objects in space. Method 1 by looking for the stuff that's falling in. If material is falling into a black hole, it travels at such high speeds that it gets hot and glows very brightly, and we can detect that. Scientists hope to use this method to learn a lot more about how and what black holes eat. Method 2. By seeing their gravity pulling on other things. We can find black holes by watching the movements of visible objects around them. For example, a black hole's gravity is so strong that nearby stars will orbit around them, so we can look for stars behaving strangely around a patch of empty space. From this, we can calculate exactly how heavy that black hole must be. That's how astrophysicist and professor Andrea Gaze and her team detected the supermassive black hole at the center of our own galaxy. Method 3 by detecting gravitational ripples when they collide. It's also possible to detect black holes by observing the ripples in space-time that are created when two black holes collide with one another. By analyzing that signal, we can determine how massive and far away the black holes were when they collided, as well as how fast they were traveling. Now, what exactly is inside a black hole? The short answer is, no one knows. But there are many theories about black holes. Let's discuss some of the most recent understandings and models regarding what scientists believe might be present inside black holes. 
Before we tell you, make sure you subscribe to Space on Earth for the latest space news and discoveries. The Theory That Could Change Everything The American physicist Enrico Rinaldi and his team, based in Tokyo, have been studying black holes for years, trying to unravel the mysteries of these seemingly vast voids. But after conducting extensive research and experiments, they've come up with a surprising conclusion. Black holes are not just voids, but holograms. And not just any holograms, but ones that could lead us to other galaxies. Enrico, an expert in quantum matrix models, combined theories of gravity and particles to develop the idea of holographic dualities. Through various tests and simulations, he and his team found that the best way to understand what's happening inside a black hole is to view it as a three-dimensional hologram. Black holes have always operated in the third dimension, and understanding them requires looking outside rather than inside. Think about it. Outside of the black hole, space and time are traveling in opposite directions, affecting not just the singularity or wormhole, but also the space it occupies. And that's why viewing black holes in three dimensions can give us clearer and more comprehensive understanding of these mysterious objects. This recent research by Rinaldi suggests that black holes may be 2D holographic projections of 3D objects. This means black holes, similar to holograms, could be mere optical illusions that generate a three-dimensional image from a two-dimensional surface. This viewpoint is beneficial in understanding black holes as it simplifies the challenge of integrating gravity into quantum field theory. Moreover, it opens up the intriguing possibility that our entire universe, too, could exist as a 2D holographic projection of a 3D space. But that's not all. Rinaldi and his team believe that black holes could be the key to intergalactic travel. If we can develop technology that can move faster than light, we might be able to pass through one of these holographic black holes and travel to other galaxies. Having said that, we must ask ourselves, what lies on the other side of a black hole? Beyond the event horizon. It was no less a luminary than Isaac Newton who taught us that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So black holes are known to gobble up anything that comes too close to their event horizon. But what about the opposite? Could the vast universe also host white holes that emit matter and energy, yet can never be entered? The idea of white holes has been gaining attention among physicists, and recent theories suggest that they could be two sides of the same cosmic coin. A spaceship crew observing a white hole from afar would see a black hole-like object with mass, spin, and a ring of dust and gas around its event horizon. But then, they'd witness a remarkable event, a belch of matter and energy being expelled into the void. This would be the moment that they'd realize they're not looking at a black hole, but a white hole. White holes are described as the time reversal of black holes. A video of a black hole played backwards, much as a bouncing ball is the time reversal of a falling ball. While black holes have an event horizon that's a sphere of no return, meaning once something passes it, it can never escape. White holes have an event horizon that's a boundary of no admission, meaning nothing can enter it from outside. Inside a white hole, objects can leave and interact with the outside world but the interior remains cut off from the universe's past, making it an even more mysterious phenomenon. Despite being a relatively new area of research, white holes have already sparked a great deal of interest and imagination among physicists, but their existence at this point in time can only be said to be speculative at best. Learn more about the black hole they discovered in our very own Milky Way by simply clicking on the video to the right. Thanks for watching. Until next time.